Good afternoon, folks. This is uh, good. I guess good to see all the Wolverines. I'm going to make one specific to my uh, grade 11 comp side group. So we're going to do some coding. Uh, I just miss coding with you guys. So I figured I'd do a little uh, continuation to our text-based adventure game. Hope everyone's doing well. Sorry, I should have started with that. Everyone's staying safe, staying indoors. And uh, let's go ahead. Ooh, that's a lot. Of, uh, and do some work. Okay, folks. Um, so I'm just going to turn this on. Okay, so what do we got here? This is my uh, text-based game for the grade 11s. Um, if you don't remember where it is or how to get to it on the class site, and actually I'll link this all up with Microsoft Teams as well. Um, so head to here, excuse me, and we're gonna click uh, text-based adventure game. And remember this takes you to GitHub where we have uh, all our code GitHub. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna date each time we have and uh, each time I code. So now, as you see, it says April 18th, and that's gonna be the stuff that we start with. And then at the end of it, I'll say, um, I'll update it with what we've changed it to, okay? So if you click this right here, uh, you could copy and paste all this and put it into, a, I might as well do it for you folks, eh? So you grab this, Control A, oops, try that again, Control A, no. So I gotta grab just these lines here. I'm gonna copy that. And then if you head back to your text-based adventure in the script page, you can uh, go ahead and paste. Should be the exact same, so I didn't grab the letter V. And that should be where we left off, okay? Now if I run it, let's have a look to see what happens there. Now about the website, on my text-based scheme, your goal is to collect nine trophies. And for here, I think if I hit H, uh, ooh, this I hope this works yes it does and then we get our help command so that's where we at right now what I want to try to do is get this go command to work all right kill that off just so you guys can see my screen a little bit better zoom in a little bit so you guys can see all right so let's see I hope this works we don't need this line anymore so let's kill this off um, again just because um, that was just a test to see if it was working, right? Um, okay, so now, just a reminder, when we press enter, that's what this is happening right here. When we press enter, we call this start command. If they have the letter H, we are going to uh, display essentially this variable right here, uh, this variable called help, all right? So now we just gotta handle what happens when they press the letter G. All right, so let's go ahead and put an else if in here. Else if input equals equals G. Uh, we will check this here. Oh, my dogs are loving this. All right, so if they press G, what we want to say is uh, we're going to ask them which way do they want to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and say instructions. Um, dot enter HTML. We should always include what we had before, which is what the plus equals does, means whatever was in that part before, just add to it. And we wanna add, let's get a new line. So that's that slash br. And these two brackets, just they kind of demonstrate, it's, it's literally just gonna be bracket, bracket, so you're gonna see what the user put. And we're going to put in their command. Actually, I should put a space there. So whatever they typed in, so this is just re-putting their inputs. In this case, we're just re-putting the letter G for go, okay? Now we're gonna end the line, so another BR here. And then we're gonna say, um, right in here, what direction would you like to go? Ask one question, I'm gonna put an end line, so another slash br. And again, that's just like pressing the letter enter. And then I'm just gonna tell them E for east, W for west, N for north, and S for south.
do, 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 E for East, W for West, N for North, and I want Benel slash S. And I want this to be a little bit different font. So the, there's a tag called small. Is it slash small? I can't remember. No, I think it's just small. Let's try that. And then let's kill off the end small. So slash small. And what that does is just change the font a little bit. Um, so if we run this now, actually, I gotta move this over. When we press the letter G, we should see, so if I press G, it's gonna say, what direction would you like to go? Does that make sense? So this is it before, and then it says, what direction would you like to go? East, north, west, south, okay? Now the next thing we wanna do is essentially they've pressed enter and it's the letter G. So now we've gotta handle something a little bit different here in that, um, remember when every time they press enter, we call this start command, right? And up till now, we've, we've only checked to see if they press the letter H or G. But <clears throat> we want to, uh, we now wanna focus on something a little bit different in that if press G, essentially we wanna ask them two things in a row. We wanna ask them what direction we wanna go, and then based on their input from that, um, we have to do something a little bit different, okay? So what we're gonna do is a, we're gonna use a, a Boolean for that. So we're gonna say var uh, go bool. We're gonna set it by default to false. And Essentially, goal bool is like a, a switch. A goal bool is on. We know we want to, they've, we've asked them what direction they want, and we've got to adjust it accordingly. If it's false, then we just ignore it, okay? So we've just asked them what direction they want to go. So now the next time they type in something, it's going to be E, W, N, or S, or if they get them all. So it's going to be East, West, North, or South. So uh, we're good, we have to look for that. So let's set the goal bool to true now. So now the go bool is on, all right? So now the next time the start gets run, uh, we wanna see if go bool is on, okay? So we're gonna do that at the top, actually. So we're gonna say if go bool, if that is true, we're gonna call a function. Um, we're gonna type up the function first. We're gonna put it down here, we'll call it function. Uh, what way? I'm just going to label this in function. What way? All right. So now, if go bool is true, we want to call that function. Okay. So we want to kind of skip this stuff here. So we want to call what way? I don't know if I need a semicolon there. Okay. Now, if Google is true, we don't want to do any of this other stuff. Okay, so we got to turn this all into an else if. So I'm going to put this up here. Wah. Else. Okay, so think about it. If Google is true, we want to do what way, and then we don't want to check if they press H or G or any of that. If Google is false, then we just ignore it and we head on to here and we check to see one of these commands. All right. So now uh, they've hit G for go, then they've hit a direction E, W, N, or S, all right? So let's go ahead and grab that. So let's copy this. Sorry, I was just thinking, yeah, so let's copy that and paste it in here. So now this is a local variable called input that what way is gonna use. And we know it's gonna be, um, E, W, N, or S, all right? So let's, uh, we're gonna put this into a switch case here, or a select switch, yeah, okay. So we're gonna say switch and input. Oh, this needs brackets, I think. And we're gonna say in switch. Remember a switch, the metaphor I use is like going to a ticket agent. Um, so let's see, maybe I can annotate on the screen here. So a switch case, the best way to think about that 
Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Shoot. Uh, sorry, guys. I wanted to try something. Okay. So switch case is like um, you're coming along. Whoops. Can I? You're coming along. You hit the switch at this point, and then based on a switch, you're going to go in one direction or another or another, and then you're going to leave. Uh, and you're going to head out. Okay. Uh, again, the metaphor I like using is a ticket agent. So you come to the concert, you give them your ticket, and the ticket agent looks at it and says, hey, go to section S, row three or two or whatever. You watch the concert, you watch the sporting event, and then you leave. So the switch case is very similar to that. And that based on this input right here, which is gonna be E, W, N, or S, we're gonna call a function. Okay, so let's clear this. All right, so now, so we're going to uh, tab in here. So let's say case. And now the first case is going to be, uh, uh, uh. can't remember how this checks. Let's go case E. No, I got the wrong syntax. This is like the one time you use colon. There we go. I remember it needs a break, or if you don't remember, it needs a break here. So the case ends with a break. Okay, so this is kind of how it's connected right here. Um, so if they're if they call east, we're going to call a function called east. Uh, let's just say head east. East. Now we haven't typed this function up just yet, um, but we'll do that shortly. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll do this right now. Actually, sorry, function. Head east. All right, so now um, they typed in e, so okay. All right, now we need to think a little bit about um, what our map looks like or what our um, so if we start here, this is, um, let's call this room. Let's see, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're getting trophies. So let's call this, um, how about the front room? Okay, so they're in the front room. And we're gonna code right now if they head east, All right? And then over here, let's make this room, um, Let's make this the uh, front room. Let's make this, uh, I don't know. Uh, because I'm not very creative today. So the front room, let's just call this, uh, let's go to the kitchen, okay? So they head to the kitchen from the front room. So we are going to need, um, okay. We are going to need a new variable to keep track of what room we're in. Okay, so let's add this up here. Bar room equals, and we're gonna start in the front room. So we're just gonna call it front. All right, so if they had east, okay, so now we need to see what room we're in. So we know they pressed the letter east, and now we're gonna use another switch statement in here, switch. And this is based on oh yeah, what room they're in. So in switch. Okay. So now we're checking to see what room they're in. Right now we only have the front room. So let's go case. Front. Colon. Break. Okay, so now let's think about this one more time. If they've head east from the front room, we want to call the kitchen up, all right? So we want to display that out, and display is in the word instructions. Okay, so we're going to say instructions.innerHTML. 
Uh, plus equals whatever was there before. Let's put a new line, so slash br. And um, we want to call the kitchen. Okay, so for right now, let's just say you are now in the. No, I don't like this. Sorry. We're going to do it a different way. We're going to add a variable called kitchen. Um, yeah, in that right there. Let's go and type the kitchen out. So room, boop, boop, boop. Help. Okay, so now let's go var kitchen equals you find yourself in a beautiful kitchen. Yourself in a beautiful, you can type in whatever you want here. Kitchen. It smells wonderful. All right, uh, let's see me call on that one right there. Um, so now, if you had east and you were inside the front room, you should see the instructions we just typed up for the kitchen. All right, let's test it out. Sorry, trying to get rid of this. Uh, there we go. I'm going to clear the annotations. Good. There we go. I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to put this in a new tab up here. Okay. So now let's move this back over. Sorry, folks. Okay. So let's run it. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. Okay. So does help work? Yay. Help works. Now let's try go. What direction and east and it broke darn it what did i do wrong let's uh, now i gotta go back here because i want to see it with the uh if it threw an air so we're going to what oh go east uh room is not defined what i thought i could find room oh too many o's on, Belgium. Jeez. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's run it. Now I'm going to go back to this one, refresh it. All right, let's go. Direction east. Hey, you find yourself in a beautiful kitchen. It smells wonderful. Yes. Sweet. Okay, so uh, nice work. Good job. Now, if we're in a kitchen, let's try to go back to the front room. Okay, so we went east to the kitchen. Now let's go west um, back to the front room. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, add another direction. Case west. And here we're going to head west. Okay, so now we're going to head west. I'm just going to copy and paste. And this time, if we are in the kitchen, we want to go back to the front room. Now, I didn't call it the front room yet, so that's nothing there. But let's just double check I got this right. So if they type which way, we're going to go west. And we're going to call head west. Based on whatever room we're in, if they're in the kitchen, we're going to give it the instructions of the front room. So let's type up the front room. So right after the kitchen, now uh, bar front. So let's say in here, this is like the opening room. Um, you find yourself, you can type whatever, you can describe your house however you want. Find yourself in, is it clean or dirty? How about in a clean spotless room? Um, I'll just leave it like that. Clean spotless room. Okay. So now let's double check. We did E W West. Good front room kitchen break. Okay. 
Okay, I think I got it. Let's test it out. Run it. Come over here. And oof. all right, let's go east. You find yourself in a beautiful kitchen. It smells wonderful. Now let's go west. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Um, right over here. The first thing we want to check under, if they go what way, remember how they press the letter G and then they got to press E, W, N, or S. Um, we essentially, we, we have to shut off this go bool so that it, it only occurs once, like one iteration. So they press G, now we, we know the next step is asking for a letter, and then we want to go back to kind of our root, the H, or the, whatever the main instructions are. So right here, we just have to shut off the go bool. So the go bool, we want to set the false. Now I'm also upset that, uh, can I clear it there? Let's, um, in the, at the end of start, let's clear it so the text box, so you don't have to, um, you don't have to like erase it. So we'll just say enter key dot value equals, and we'll just put these. Essentially that wipes whatever was in it. All right, let's try this again. So press play, come over here, refresh this. All right, so let's go with direction east. Yeah, now let's go west. Ah, still no go. Um, so now I'm going to, I wonder if you guys found my air front. Add west room kitchen. Oh, we didn't actually change the room to kitchen. So uh, room is still front here, okay? When we go to the kitchen, we have to actually name it and we have to change that value. So let's think about that, it'll be right here. So uh, now they're in the kitchen, so let's set the room to kitchen. Let's, now let's test it out, refresh this. All right, let's go east. Find yourself in the kitchen. Yes. Now let's go west. Yeah. Mm, all right. Okay. I will uh, update the GitHub and I'll put this in the Microsoft Teams. Um, hopefully you guys get it to work and you can actually, uh, probably from here, you might be able to add your own rooms. Um, I'll check back in and, and see how that's going. Um, good job.